And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a repeat pattern. You can obviously do that manually, but there's a quicker way. Let me use this GIMP logo. The first step is to create a new image. Let me just go to 300 times 300. Then I go back to the logo, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V on my new canvas right here. Let me give it a new name to unlock it. Then I press Shift S to have the scale tool active. And I scale it down holding control. Make sure that you've got this logo active so you can see the bounding box around the logo. Then go to filters, map, and use the tile function. And now use the size that you want for the end result. So maybe 1280 times 720. Click on OK. And there you go. Couple of things to keep in mind is it's going to cut the logo off. So it's exactly cropped to the size that you need. You can use a different image size. Let me use 250 times 300. I'll copy and paste my logo once more. I unlock it by renaming it, I reposition it and scale it a little bit. So another thing to keep in mind is when you select the background like this, you've got the bounding box according to your entire canvas. And if you now use the mapping function, it's only going to use the background as a pattern. So our end result will be completely white as our background is white. See that right here. So if you want to adjust the size of the logo in the end result, so, um, so how it is repeated, you'll have to export this. So let me export the entire file. And then I drag and drop it into this project. Here it is. And now I've got the logo and the background active. And if I go to filters and map it, let me once again use 1280 times 720. And now you can see we've got a bigger distance between the logos. I've given it a white background on top. So let me add a background here as well so that we can compare it properly. But this was the first one and here's now the second one. So if you want to adjust the distance between these patterns, you can do it like this. So just export your image and then drag and drop it into your file and then use this for the map tile effect. And this is how you can create a repeat pattern in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.